Welcome to Guy Book of the Week. Good job, mister. Hello there and welcome to another Guy Book of the Week. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some cool stuff. And this time around we're going to talk about uh, using variables. Now we're going to talk about the API. And we are going to talk about using variables for configuring products or configuring instructions. Uh, so we'll jump into this and I will show you one of two work instructions I have for you because this is exciting stuff. Uh, so I've got this work instruction and uh, truth be told, I raided my son's Legos uh, and I grabbed uh, some stuff here. I grabbed a Lego car and I have different products or I have this product, but it has different configurations on it, right? We can have the, uh, the red hood or the black hood. We can have a different exhaust on it. We can put wings on the car. Or we don't have to put wings on the car. So you have all these different configurations. Uh, so I made a few different work instructions based on this. And this one here, as we advance through, we're going to be asked for a work order number. We're going to go through and, and follow through that process. And if I don't have any kind of communication with the API, then I can still use something like this. It's just going to ask the user some questions. Hey, what, what hood are you putting on, right? And then I could say, oh, I'm going to put on the red hood. And then VKS is going to take me to the installation for the red hood process. So then VKS takes me there and it jumps me right to it. And now this could be a one step process. This could be a 15 step process, whatever you want, but it's going to take me there. Uh, and as you have these different configurations, VCAS can ask you and say, okay, what are we doing next? Oh, we're putting the black roof on the thing. So then we select the black roof and then boom, here we go. We have the black roof that's getting installed. And again, one step, multiple steps, anything like that works. So as we go through step-by-step step in the process, now if you don't have any connectivity, you don't have a communication with your ERP system or anything like that, then you could still do things like this and the operator can select the thing. Uh, one general note with this instruction too, I created a couple of different variations on it and I wanted to show like the reality of what was being installed, right? So the black hood with the red exhaust, with the red hood, with this and that. So I showed the actual pictures of the actual product. Uh, there's nothing saying you can't do this and say, install this engine. Now the engine might not be the same color, but it's still the standard engine installed. So you could do something like that, kind of shorten this up a little bit or you could do something like I do here and have it where you have the different configurations. Uh, now the cool thing in this comes into play when we start connecting to ERP systems and we start answering the questions for the operators. So I have my work order section here. I have some loaded in instructions. And instead of me just going through and flipping a coin and saying, well, the hood's gonna be this color. Maybe I have an order for a specific car build. So then what could end up happening is is I could load that into VCAS and then we can launch that job. And as we launch the job, VCAS is gonna know all the stuff for us. So here's our work order number. You're gonna see down right hand side here in our data section, we're showing the actual configuration that's being done. So this is gonna be what I call the uh, night or dark night configuration for this. So we're gonna do some installs here, and the first thing's gonna be the hood, and the item is pre-selected for us. We know what we're supposed to do. The item is pre-selected, and it takes us directly to that specific part in the process. So as the operator is going through and building things, it's being done for you. And you're gonna be able to see that in here. So you go through your assembly process and you build this product to the specifications. Again, a couple of steps in between, multiple steps, Whatever you want to do, you can do with this instruction here. Uh, and this is just one variation. I have another variation of the variation. Uh, I've been watching a little bit of uh, Loki with the variants and things. So V words are on my mind a lot. So we're going to create some different variations of this stuff here. Uh, so we've got this work instruction and this one is uh, set up in this fashion. And you could have multiple work orders with different configurations. And you can load that stuff in from an ERP system using the communication between VCAS and the ERP system. You can load that stuff into VCAS. People can see it, people can use it. Everything is great. So we've got that. Now I also have another alternate here that I wanna show. And this uses more of a configuration code kind of layout here. 
So instead of uh, saying red, black, red, black, blue, green, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, uh, this is the config code. So if I launch this work order, for example, we're gonna run this job. And then within this job here, we're gonna have our work order and everything that's loaded in. And then we're gonna have our job as same variations, right? But now we're being pre-selected for a specific configuration code. And that configuration code can be entered in a whole bunch of different ways. And it can be basically anything you want. So then what VCAS can do is VCAS can read that configuration code and say, oh, you want this one here, this process. So then here's the process to say, here's the black hood and the black roof kit and the red exhaust, as I call it. And we're putting the wings on and there's the assembly complete right there. So then this is our work order and we have built this and we can build one, we could build multiple products of this same configuration. Uh, but then we say, hey, we have a separate work order and that separate work order has a different configuration to it. So then we've got our configuration in there we load up our job on this case, and then VCAS is gonna again tell us that specific configuration. And this is the cool thing with using that communication between VCAS, the ERP system, or other systems, having that connectivity. The cool thing is that you'll be able to set up these different configurations, load them into the job, and along with that, that's not the only thing you can do. We're loading in work orders, we're loading in time data, we could load in bill of materials specific to this operation. Whole bunch of stuff that we can load in here. But in this case, we have this build that is going to take us to, again, specific process. This time we're putting on the red roof. So we put on the red roof, black exhaust, and then we're putting the wings on. I like putting the wings on, apparently, on these things, right? Put the wings on. We like to fly with our cars nowadays. So we've got that wing configuration. Uh, so you have all these different variations that you can use and uh, you could set up a lot of different work instructions with this. Uh, now this ties in with different rules, our rule engine. This ties in with some rules in the guidebook itself and of course the communication. A lot of cool stuff here. Thank you very much for checking this out. Thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, I want to say a quick shout out and thank you to my son for letting me use his Legos. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Oh, wait, there's one other thing I have to do, I think, here. Let's see. What's the other thing I have to do? Uh, that thing right there. So we have to put that up and say, uh, hey, if you want to learn more, check out VCAS app. So that was the last thing there. Thank you again. Look forward to more cool content from us. And have a good rest of your day.